there, and welcome to Everything Coptic. So, on Monday, I said, you have fallen off, haven't been doing your reading, haven't been living up to the spiritual rule, and of course that was for me. So I had sought advice from my spiritual guide, one of my spiritual guides really, and I asked him, how can I return to my spiritual rule, you know, after a very busy semester and after a vacation that throws you off a new schedule? How can I return to where I was? And he said, a practical answer, which was, you can't just go back. If I'm doing a full sprint and then I sit for like a month, I can't, I can't suddenly return to a full sprint. I need to build up to it. The same with your spiritual life. You may have done so many readings, matanyas, you may have done so many practices before, but you took time off. Well, let's go back but let's build into it. It might have taken you a month to figure out how many chapters of the Bible you read, how much of the Gbeya you pray, how many other spiritual things you do, how many meetings you attend, liturgical attendance, etc. And you kept it going for a long time. Are you ready to return to that progress that you had made? return to that pace and then grow from there. In order to do so, build back into it. And don't worry if it takes a little bit of time. It's better to build into it gradually than it is to do absolutely nothing. Because when we do nothing and then do a lot and then go back to nothing, we are polemic. We are extremists. We are people without any consistency, I almost want to say without any personality when it comes to the spiritual life. We're like a friend who's there, then he's not there, comes around. This is not a friend. This is just a reoccurring character. Do not be a reoccurring character in your spiritual life. And I pray that after this week, I pray that we all have begun moving in the right direction. We'll begin, I believe, the Jonas Fast is coming up. We'll talk about these, but I pray that during the fast and during all these other times, we may increase, that we may grow, that we be like our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom, is, to whom belongs all glory and honor with his good Father and the Holy Spirit. And glory be to God forever. Amen.